to say I'm not better than Pa. No, oh, there's oh, there's oh, Pa. Bro, uh, bro, we can play mirror all night. What are you on? Because I, I, I want to be what, you, what, what you're on. Please. I'm actually in love with that engine. Okay. I think that engine is broken and it's not even close. Hold up, wait. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What? Nash, what do you say? Nash, hey, chill, bro. Nash, like, come on, fam. Is there anything you want to tell us, Paco? Are oh, you I'm sure? I'm telling you, bro. Look, look, all, all I'm saying is I got channel to gaslight Konami. I got sources I can't say. What's up? I'm telling you the good guys. Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. Today we got... Yo, who do we got today? Hello? Hello, guys? Yo, what's up, man? I'm vibing, bro. I'm about to reset, you know what I'm saying? Okay. you a good topic. I'm excited. Okay, guys. Today, we're about to reset Yu-Gi-Oh! once and for all. My statement still stands. I will quit Yu-Gi-Oh! as soon as Nash wins the world championship. All right, guys? And I'm working on it. Okay? I'm, I so, am working on it. So, Nash, as soon as he wins the world championship, you guys, Team Samurai X1 will no longer exist. Okay, guys? All right? <laughs> all right, guys. So, today, we're diving to the topic of Yu-Gi-Oh! needs a reset. Uh, so, guys, so here's today's question, okay? Is the game moving too quickly or has it become too predictable? Are we stuck in a cycle where the same decks dominate, making gameplay stale? In today's Tech Talk, we're going to be diving to why Yu-Gi-Oh! might need a reset and discussing how a well-crafted ban list could be the key to revitalizing the game. Are you guys ready, guys? I'm super Yes, ready. let's do it. Okay, guys. So basically, as you guys can see on the screen right now, and for those of you who are watching at home, this is a tier list video. We're gonna be taking a deep dive into five important categories in today's video. So as you guys can see by the first category is the S plus or the red category, where 100% this card needs to go. So whatever we talk about a certain card, you guys will tell me, okay, what do you guys think about these, these cards? If the card 100% needs to go, the cards will be dragged into this column. Next, we talk about the limited. Limited are cards that needs to be at one uh, in this forbidden and limited list. Next, we got semi-limited cards that should be at two. Next, cards that you guys think shouldn't be touched for now, but it's definitely a considerable. Okay. And last but not least, you know, we can put in a wish list or AKA probably not going to happen. You know, like if you guys... Mm -hmm. Don't think these cards are going to be hit. All right, guys. So the first question that I have for both of you, you know what I'm saying? You know, the both pro players here. Um, the current state of Yu-Gi-Oh! has seen Snake Eye dominate the meta since the release of Age of Overlord. Okay. What critical hits does this deck need on the upcoming ban list to restore balance to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now? So, guys, what are you talking about? The, the main deck hits, okay? Let's talk about Snake Eye's as the main deck and nothing else okay so the mm -hmm. first card that, wanna, uh, that i want you guys to to give me your answers to is snake eye ash okay where do you guys think mm. snake eye mm. ash belongs on the ban list take it away guys limited i think limited i think keeping it at one is nice because <clears throat> i'm like a little bit ahead here but like i think original is here to stay mm. so i think like if you keep saying ash at one you can um you know like bridge the engine into like rescue ways into like infernoids you keep fire decks still alive um but i think i think ash the one is like a pretty good pretty good limit um it's just like too powerful of a card like uh it does too much by itself plays around draw uh you know if it resolves halfway through you can play around nib like it's just really really strong like no one card should be able to play around one hand trap obviously like imperm Valor can stop it um ash can kind of stop it but you know the fact that it plays around other key hand traps in the metagame is just like so crazy you mm. know for one card Nash what do you yeah. think I think I disagree with the pack about Snake Eye Ash okay so I okay. think that's not the it that I would go for okay uh, so even though it seems not reasonable to eat original cause of the new Diablo cards I think we came to a point in which we don't need to slow down this deck anymore because we saw the evolution of limiting Snake Eye Ash on Master Duel and on the OCG ban list and that did nothing I think the TCG taking in consideration those things mm. uh, will leave Ash and will touch other cards that are key for the deck strategy. So Wait, I think Ash yep. will stay to three. Oh, we were thinking Ash. Nash, what are you? Okay, Nash, can can I ask you something? Nash? Yes. Yes. What are you on? Because I, I, I want to be what, you, what, what you're on. Please. What are you yeah, on? What did you smoke before this? Yeah. You know, like, what, uh, what did you I, smoke? I think I want some too. Yeah, I, I want some too. Uh, are you smoking copium? Well, like, can I have some? Can, can I please have some? Nash. I say it. Nash, like, Nash, are you crazy? Are you deaf, bro? Like, you Nash. pull that shit out in your ears. Like, bro, clean that shit. Okay, hear me out. I will repeat it one more time for you. I say it 
Ash will stay to three because we already see we already we, we have already seen what happened in the OCG and on Master Duel. Mm. And limiting Ash didn't do jack shit. Uh, okay, I yeah, think sure. Konami, mm. Europe, Konami, NA will touch other cards that are key for the deck strategy, such as popular, such as original. Mm, okay. All right. No, so no, but, to be be honest, to, for but like, if, you, if you look at OCG and Master Duel, right, as examples, like you mentioned, like say Ash did go to one in those lists, right? Yeah, like I don't, th I think, I think you're assuming that Konami would make the right hit. I'm just saying, I think this is what's gonna actually happen. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, checkmate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know I'm saying. Yeah. I moved the rook up to D D8, bro. Yeah. Oh, I forgot last time that Pack was the <laughs> strongest soldier. Yo, do you want to join yeah. Josh? <laughs> That's that's my boy right there. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, I, I, honestly, Nesh, I, I stopped listening when you said Ash needs to stay at three. Nesh, I'm sorry. I, I will, Nesh, I will I'm sorry. That honestly, Nesh, stay at three, and they will touch and other then, key cards that are the main. Nesh, 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 I'm sorry, Nesh, 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 Nesh I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you're not in charge of the bandless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Nesh, I'm like sorry, guys, Nesh. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Nesh, but I I just heard a bunch of yaps. You know, after after you said the card was at three. Okay, but then if we touch Ash. Then if we touch Ash, we cannot touch Origin. You Every hit is consequential. If you eat Ash, other cards will need to stay. Okay, so okay. That's not true. That's not true. You can hit Ash and hit other cards too. That's so can fine. we can we agree that Ash should, could be limited? Nash, can you agree at least agree to it that? It could be limited. It yes, could, it right, Pac? Pac, can we all agree? Yeah. I consider yeah, the I, worst I, case scenario, yeah. okay. it could be limited. Yeah, I think, I, I think it'll be limited, yeah. Okay, limit, okay? I think it will. Yeah. All right, next mm -hmm. card. Okay, Nash, I'm gonna let you lead into this. Popular. Snake Eye Popular. What do you think about this little red reptile here? I think it will stay. Okay. All right. It will stay at three? Yes. Okay. Why do you think it will stay at three? B because there are other key cards, as I told you. Okay. So I you think Popular, it is a very good card. Yeah. But if I have to stop this, the main strategy would be over original. Okay. Okay. Or okay. Would it be with the wanted end? Okay. So Popular isn't kind of like the, the, the main guy you want to stop. You kind of want to. All the main focus is on Ash. Uh, Park, do you agree? What do you think about popular being? Like yeah, I agree. I think I think popular is way weaker of a normal summon compared to Ash. Mm. Um, I, I think I think it stays at three. Like I don't think they'll hit popular. To be quite honest with you. True. 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 Um, yeah. I think I think I'll say yeah. Konami is more likely going to go for the main starter cards more than the cards that it supports. You know what I'm saying? Like Ash always search yep. popular, right? So instead of hitting popular, they yep. just try to hit the root of the problem all the way. Is the patterns I I, I see mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, Konami hitting cards either Master OTG or OCG. All right, okay, so Limit Snake Eye Ash, popular, shouldn't get touched. It's at three. It's a weaker starter than Snake Eye Ash. Now let's talk about original of the Sinful Swell, the small card that popular searches, the card that usually bridges into the Snake Eye engine. So I'm going to let Net Nesh lead. What do you think about original, Nesh? I think the card should be banned. Mm. But if we follow up with the Snake Eye limit, okay. the card will not be touched. Okay, okay. So Yeah, I, I think it shouldn't get touched, though. Yeah, I don't think it should get touched. I think, like, you want to pl make other fire decks playable still, and, but you can hit the other parts of Snake Eyes that makes it really, like, frustrating to play against. Oh, like, um, okay. Like, I think you keep original so, like, you can play rescue so you can play infernoids and then those fire decks will get a resurgence in popularity i think oh. it's like way more doable that the thing is when you keep a lot of the fire the snake eye cards in engine you can play it pure and put in a lot of non-engine the moment mm. you like use snake eyes as like an alternate like as a supplementary engine you actually reduce your non-engine count right mm. so i think it's like fine mm. like but yeah so i don't know i think it's just stay it is a really broken card though especially with all the follow-up it provides and all that good stuff but I think it stays personally, or else like, what's the point of keeping popular to three? Mm. Like, I, I think it stays. Nice. Yeah. What do you think? Here is the thing. Like, I usually agree on pack take, right? Because pack says, uh, pack is basically saying we should limit the power of a deck instead of destroying it. Mm. And I, I and I'm usually on the take. Usually it's the reverse, right? Okay. But like, I but I think I think th like the fact that there are so many broken fire engines around. Mm such as the Fire King engine, which is like the most spoiled one, such as the Rescue one. Mm. Original. Yeah, that shit got 20 bricks. <clears throat> what, which one? Bro, the Fire King shit is like infinite bricks, bro. Like that, sh like that shit is good, but <laughs> it's like, it's not as good as, like normal something Ponyx is not as good as normal something Sega Ash. True, true, true. Or I do Pop agree with that. Like if you normal Poplar into Ponyx, it's like, oh, like bro, think about what that really does. It's not mm. even that crazy. Yeah, it's not. It's literally like, like it's not as crazy as like, 
Like, you know what I'm saying? As like normal something to Astro Pop up because the Snake Eye engine, even when you played Fire King Snake Eyes before, right? Yeah. Like you want to usually preserve your Snake Eye monsters to get access to like the broken shit, like the Flambridge, the, the Oaks, like that kind of stuff. Like yeah. the Fire King engine usually supplements the Snake Eye engine. But now if people are playing pure Fire King with with access to Pawnee, it's great. Like, mm. I'm down for that. Like, that sounds way more enjoyable, to mm. be honest with you. Mm. I honestly, I can, Bach, honestly, yo, that's actually a really good take. Because I feel like, yeah, instead of just uh, destroying the engine outright, you you make the engine weaker. So this small yeah. engine can be splashed to other fire decks that can benefit off original, which I tr actually yeah, like, agree. You don't make it a pure deck. Yes. Like, because the pure deck is ridiculous. The yes. Pure, we recognized from the beginning of, like, since February, when, mm. the, when the deck got released, that the pure deck was really, really good. Of course, no one played the pure deck originally. Everyone played Fire King. They played Rescue Ways, blah, 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 blah. But clearly, as the time progresses, we realized that the best way to play Snake Eyes it's is pure. to play pure. Why? Mm. Because it has least amount of bricks, very concise, concise succinct engine. Mm. But now, we turn the deck from a pure deck into an engine deck. Mm. You know, like, into an mm. engine that people can uh, put in. And yeah, I think yeah. that makes it a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah, um, honestly. So that's how I see it, yeah. Honestly, Pac, uh, with your logic there, I think since the beginning of February, I remember uh, Snake Eyes being splashed into Fire King, but they're re they, but in the beginning, they were playing very little Snake Eye cards. And then in the end, yes. the whole deck just turned into a pure Snake Eye deck. People realize that it's like, yes. you know, the Fire Kings are just, it was, it was just useless. Like they started, yeah. To, like it, like know? Kieran, Kieran was there to make his little Snake Eye Ash resolve, yeah. not there because it was like that much better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, because yeah. you have to understand, like some boards are already good enough. Yeah, yeah. adding bricks to your deck to make your boards better is never like, like I don't think that's like the goal of any competitive player because you want to reduce your variance, right? Like true. as much as you can. True. True. So, true. Yeah, that that's how I see it. Nash, any rebuttal uh, to, to 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 the stuff that Pac I think has made? The Fire King engine is broken. Like you might play, it, <laughs> but I think it's broken. Like, That's uh, how, like I, I could tell you played that the, shit since inception. The, no, you the way stop. you guys want to, you couldn't stop, Nash. <laughs> you couldn't stop, Nash. I tried to stop you. You're like, no, 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 Kieran. I think it's I'm broken. Like, okay, I really think it's broken. You guys are <laughs> doing a mistake right now. You want to make yes. the snake survive, yeah, bro? Nash. It's good in the side events because in the side events you play against Rogue. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nash, like, Nash, good against Rogue. Nash. Like, the five <laughs> Bro, like... I, I'm on fucking Science Day Zero. I also tested Pure, but, like, I'm actually in love with that engine. Okay. I think that engine is broken, and it's not even close. Okay, Nash, how about this, okay? We don't want to... Okay, for example, I this... Okay, so we're going to lead on to the next card, as you guys see right now, which is going to be a huge topic mm -hmm. on the next card I want to talk about, which is why I believe Original shouldn't get banned. You know what I'm saying? Because instead of destroying the deck's engine, we should destroy and make the deck the pure version weaker that Pac has mentioned, yes. right? So Nesh, can yes. we can we come to the same consensus that original shouldn't be banned? And then we'll talk about the next original card. Original will not get touched okay. considering our, like the, consider Windows takes. Okay. It will not. Okay, it will not get touched. But can, I, I, can you somewhat agree and be in the middle? Because if you want, I can I can understand the origin, brother. Like there are tweets here, okay? It's even ban original, or you ban the next one that's like, or you ban the next one that's literally on the screen right now, which is Flamberg. Okay, Flamberg. Okay, Flamberg. What do you think about Flamberg? One of them, Nash. I agree on that. Nash, what do you think about Flamberg? I think Flamberg. Yeah. What do you think about it, Nash? Go yeah. tell me. What do you think, Nash? What do I think about it, brother? Yes. It's literally surcharged on legs. That card needs to go. <laughs> it's one of the two. Yeah. It's even original. It's even flambage. Like, okay. you guys need to decide on that. Okay, no, I'm deciding that it needs to go yeah. easily banned. Block okay, Dragon is banned, right? But, but, but I think flambage is more powerful than original. I honestly think and so, And the too. reason why is because, yeah, flambage is ridiculous. It's it's like more follow-up than original. It is. It's a form of interruption mm. because it can scale the IP. And it's also like insane, like in the mirror match, like that card was like so annoying because you couldn't scale, you couldn't activate popular to put it in the scale. Yeah. Because they just take it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just like, like, the card was like absurd. And the, keep in mind, one of the ways is that plays under skill drain is that, like, it literally, like, Ash tags under, like, Flamberg, for example. Yeah, right? yeah. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Flamberg is just too crazy. I think hitting Flamberg is better than hitting original, in my opinion. Like, yeah. That's why I, that's can, why I, I kind of, like, that. frame it that way. You could have Flamberg said is way before. more powerful. You could have said this before. He did. Yeah, but we're taking one step at a time. step at a time, time Nash. Nash. Come on, Nash. you have to, you have to build it up. You Nash, you have to build it up, bro. You have to build answer right away. I like to run, bro. Nash, I know you like to run, but this is why I set these questions up so we can talk about each card individually. You know what I'm saying, yes. Nash? You don't got to. You don't always really gotta together. rush. Why you don't wanna go rush, Nash? <laughs> all, all the ingredients are Nash. now in the pot. Now Not we're stirring. Yet. Now we're stirring. Yes, Nash. <laughs> like when you cook, do you do you, like you know you have to prepare the vegetables? You know you don't throw it in the pot without cutting yes. the shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So we all agree Flamber needs to get banned. This card was an interruption. It provides more follow than original. I and I believe that this is the correct way to, to hit Snake Eyes. Is, is to just ban yeah. Flamberg. You know, the Block Dragon didn't, yeah. the, Black, Block Dragon doesn't exist for a reason. Why should a card like Flamberg exist? Yep. Which is this is also okay. one of the reasons why Pure Snake Eyes is toxic because of Flamberg Dragon. I'll be honest. Like this okay. card is uh, I, I yeah. can get behind that. That that makes totally sense now <clears throat> to my You, you want to get behind <laughs> Pac? What? Hold up, wait. <laughs> yo. Yo. What? Nash, what, what you say? Nash, I, uh, chill, bro. Nash, like, whoa. Come on, fam. Nash. Go the next card, it, Snake Eye Oak. What do you think about Snake Eye Oak? Yeah, if I was Jesse, I'd say ban it. But bro. I'm not Jesse. So honestly, <laughs> like that card is fine. Just keep that shit out there. Nash, what do you like, think? It, it's agree. totally fine. Yeah, because with Flamberg being dead, like what does the Oak tag out yeah. into? You know what I'm saying? Like, nice. You know, it's nothing, a, yeah. it tags onto nothing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You, it's yeah. like idea bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. That's a idea bell. Okay, next, we have another consistency card. We got Bonfire. What do you think about Bonfire? Bonbons. I want one. One. I want Nesh. One. one. One or two. I think it's probably yeah. fine. I think it's way. one because, like, the card is literally Sega Ash or Poplar. So it's either an extender or a starter. It's like both cards in one. It arguably is like, it's just Rota, bro. Like, what, 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 like, need I say more? You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no Rota. Like, three. it's just too good of a card. Like, for example, if you go Bonfire for Pop and build Pop Effect, like, that is really strong because you haven't even used your normal summon, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I think it's actually just too good uh to, to keep I, it at i can three. get behind that i think oh, i think whoa. i'm fine with that like could it be at one could it be at two okay okay all right let's, uh, yeah let's put it to one i'll put it to one yeah i'll put it to one okay all right because now now like you're cutting you're cutting like you're making this deck an engine like look at this like if you play the pure deck you don't have enough cards to play yeah you can't play you, know pure no more. Like, you, can't, play. The, you can't play pure no more so now you force people to play like alternate ways um and like i said the more cards you add to like the other engine, like the other type of decks, they're gonna lose non-engine slots, which is great, bro. Like non-engine, 18 non-engine is not balanced in 40 yeah, cards. Like, that's true. not okay. Yeah, that's 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 actually shouldn't be allowed. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I agree. Bomb bonds, like, little go, one. Go guys. back to the era. Go, yeah, go back to the era of 12 hand traps, like 12 non-engine. Yeah, know? I like that. At least that. it feels a little bit more doable. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, bro, bro, if Rota's at one, why is Bonfire with Fire still at three? You know what I'm saying? Facts, you know what facts, I'm saying? Facts. So might as well balance it, you know? All right, hey, how about Wanted? At no, one as well? I think, one. I think Wanted is a very strong engine. Like, like one. there is a new set as well. Like, there are no new Diablo cards. Mm. Okay. Uh, Asamina uh, will search it, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, Which card? I, I think. What so card? There's a new archetype coming out that's called, it's called Asamina. It's like the opposite of uh, White Forest cards. It's what? like the, I guess the, like the opposite of them um and like their counterparts and basically like yeah that engine searches sinful spoils uh spells and traps so oh. you know or obviously you can like access original with them um they're really really strong um so that's why like uh like these like i think like hitting these cards are fine because like you know you'll find other ways to bridge it mm. um, but hitting once is really good because bro like the I think once it's fine as a card, but the fact that it can draw you a card is like devastating because majority of the time when yeah. you activate the effect to draw, you thin your deck out a lot. So you're drawing non-engine cards to back up your board. So yeah, yeah. not only is it a starter, but it can potentially be an extender if you need, because like you can draw into an extender when you get stopped. Yeah. Or it can draw you a non-engine to make your board even more hard, like yeah. much harder to break, right? So guys, this is too good. Bro, I, bro, honestly, bro, have you guys ever been in a situation where you're like you're just in an un, un, unlosable situation in Yu-Gi-Oh, and your opponent goes wanted yeah. shuffle back one draw like tactics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that has happened. Oh yeah, that God. has happened. That, that has or like happened, tag yeah. wanted draw and droplet. Like I've had that happen like, to me yeah. a lot. Like that this card's insane. And not only that is like pop, putting putting back original, drawing one, and also like being able to normal summon Ash. Popular search the original mm -hmm. is actually ridiculous. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Constantly yeah, so every now, turn. It's kinda it's kinda nice now because if you put original one to two, one, if you banish the original with like SP, for example, yeah. it's gonna be harder for them to put it back in their deck, right? Mm. So um I think like that's like a good example of why like maybe that card can go to one. Honestly, that card is like it's honestly bannable to be quite honest. Like it's it's arguably it's honestly better than Bonfire Ash sometimes yes. because of the fact that yeah. you don't commit a normal summon. And True. you can sack from field off which, which is like even crazier because like a lot of decks in the game right now can put cards on the field for free sacks off mm. of like which, right? Like it's honestly like bannable, but I think like realistically, I think Konami would put it to one. I don't think they will hit it. Um, just like like be more realistic with like how the balance would go. Like this yeah. kind of the, right now, the format we have set up is very, in my opinion, realistic because it follows a lot of themes that Master Duel did and what OCG did. And although they don't necessarily talk to each other, I think like they do draw some influences. Mm. So 
I can see this being the case, yeah. True. Okay, amazing, amazing. Great takes, guys. Great takes. Uh, now, okay, now, yep. okay. So, wanted to one, same reason as Bonfire plus more. Now, let's talk about Temple. Honestly, if we're already hitting all these mm. cards, Temple, like, like, what do you guys think okay, about Temple? Temple will stay because yeah, the new deck with Azamina, yeah. like, does not even use it. True. I think the deck yeah. got outclassed. All right, guys. And mm -hmm. the last snake I hit that we want to talk about is Die Bell Star, Black Witch. What do you guys think about Black Witch with this current situation that we got I, on the I board think, right now? I think Witch is fine if you want a decent one. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll have to take other, like, it's in consideration. And I think the yeah. card is... I mean, paid. the thing with... The th yeah, like, once it... Like, Witch is, like, a card that if it gets stopped, your opponent does go neg one. So, honestly, like... It feels a lot better when your opponent Valor is a Witch because yeah. they lose a card versus Valoring a Sega Hash because they sell four. Yeah, right? yeah. So, like, I think with Witch is that, like, your opponent will have to make the conscious decision, like, damn, I have to give up a card for my hand, right? Like, which card do I give up? Mm. And I think, like, Witch is an example of, like, a good hit in that sense or, like, a, a card that could still stay at three because it's just from a, from a, I guess, from a choke point perspective, it's, like, a lot um, easier to, like, hit that card, you know? And you can Ash original now. Right, so if they summon which you as original because there's no wanted or once is that one, uh, it's you're less likely to get impacted by the you know wanted draw. Mm. So I just think that like um, which the one is like so fine. I wish the three is like so fine for me. Yeah. True. Nash, N Nash, can you agree as well? I agree. Okay. All right, guys. So these are all the main hits that we think should happen to Snake Eyes for the game to stay balanced and for the game to reset into introducing new decks moving forward. Now let's go on mm -hmm. to the next question that I have for you guys today. So with non-engine cards becoming essential in deck building, often comprising of 18 to 21 cards alongside the main engine, do you think any of these non-engine cards should be targeted on the ban list? Let's start mm -hmm. out with Crossout Designator. All right, one of the, oh most, <laughs> one of the strongest cards uh, in the TCG right now. The reason why it's so strong is because obviously everyone is playing 1821 non engine. Everybody's playing the same non engine in the deck. Cross out, being able to stop basically any card, not only just non engine, but if you're playing against the mirror, this card can actually become a huge threat. As you guys see in Master Duel and also the OCG, this card is limited at one, while cards like Call by the Grave is still at two. So, what are your guys' thoughts on Cross Out Designator? Uh, this card is crazy. They're actually crazy. Yeah, Nash, you go, you go. Nash, you go. Okay, so Cross Out is such a powerful card because it's actually better than Call by the Grave, in my opinion. Like, Why? if you have a free spot in your deck, you should probably play Cross Out because it can hit Impermanence and it can hit also your opponent engine. Like, like starting off the rip, like, your opponent normal sums a most that you have a copy in your deck, you call it with Cross Out, that's also an Impermanence right there. Like, you feel the, the pressure and the power. This card in a tier zero format, it's literally a tier zero card. Mm. In, um, in a mirror, it's mm. also very powerful and stuff like that, but it's usually, like, mostly gonna be used post side if it's not gonna be a tier zero format, mm. because it every entrap, as you rightfully said, but also it Impermanence, that call by does not do it there are many decks that have cross out but they don't have like and, and they don't have call by the grave and there is a reason behind that because it has a wider or uh, like range uh, wider range of its yeah um, nibiru nibiru being like the one i can think of the most right like nibiru mm -hmm. is a card that some decks can't beat yeah um especially when they open nib plus one so they open like nib paired like cross as a card that like makes sure that you will not get nib like even if they pair nib with any other hand trap it does not matter right except mm. except lancia i guess yeah <laughs> yeah wow yeah okay so where do you guys think this should be this this card should go one it should be it should be a one and i i can also chime in a little bit because i think the issue, a lot of people will probably want this card at three, but I, here's my issue. I think the issue of cross out being at three is the fact that like right now people play 18 to 21 hand traps, yeah. but drawing three hand traps almost feel like it's not enough when cross out's in the game. Ah, uh, like, yeah. So it, all, it almost like if you look at the deck building of like, you know, previous NAWCQ Euros, people were siding into 24 to 26 hand traps because they realize that the, like in order to beat your opponent drawing cross out, you need to draw four hand traps. That's insane. Like you need to draw more hand traps <laughs> than they do plays and cross out is quote unquote an extender. Like if you look at cross out as like, um, as an extender, like mm. it's like, um, then you realize that like from your opponent's point of view, they need to put in a lot more non-engine. And I think it creates a dynamic where it's like, where there's just not enough non-engine that we can put in that has the same like magnitude in terms of stopping your opponent. Yeah. So cross out puts your opponent in like a weird predicament. It was like, damn, I just gotta, I just gotta put like shit cards in my deck just so, just so I can like do something, right? Like mm. that's what we did with member in uh, in Vegas format. We played Bell. We cited Bell it like yeah, because yeah. like 
okay, maybe, maybe we hit one set and, and, you know, look up in the sky and pray to God, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah, just, yeah. it's just, it's rough. It is and rough. I think that's, I think like, that's a, that's the issue with cross out. Um, so I would like to, I would like to, to get hit to be honest, cause I want hand jobs to actually resolve. I'm more else like the, what's the point of them? Right. Yeah. Like, and we've seen like two, three hand traps aren't enough to stop saying guys right now. So I would like to you see guys. Yeah. Uh, no, okay, okay, but uh, another, okay, another argument like you know going to the future well, with the new Maxi coming out. You guys mm -hmm. still think this card deserves mm -hmm. to go to one? Yeah, 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 I think so. Okay. I just don't want to play the. Mi I feel like it's just a mini game when you have it at three, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I wouldn't like it. I, I think like I want decks to have their engine be good enough to play through hand traps, right? But then at the same time also get stopped by them. Yeah, um, yeah. But cross out is a whole nother level. It's just like bro, whatever you throw at me it does not matter. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I th think about it now, like. Thinking about it now with the logic of okay, you need four hand traps to beat me because cross out is at three is actually ridiculous. Yeah. I like, think gold by yes. makes way more sense. Like if we are talking about the hand traps, if we are talking about interruptions and stuff, I think like cold by makes way more sense in my opinion. Why cold yeah. by is at one and cross out is at three? It should be the reverse to be honest. Mm, okay. Yeah, bro. You can also remember like uh you can also cross out going second. That was a yeah. whole thing. Oh yeah, like, cross out skill. We were cross out in skill drain <laughs> against stun, against the mirror, like cross out summon limit. Like <laughs> bro, like Paulo literally won a YCS by going cross out skill drain remember like yeah it's yeah. just really it's crazy like it, it it's a card that a side it's a side deck card that serves so many purposes that it's it can be an mst and like it can turn off your opponent's drain but then drains live on their turn still like you know what i'm saying like the yeah. card is really powerful i think yeah. i think it really does it deserve was also a, a used hit. as a pseudo engine because if you had wanted in the graveyard you could banish original and draw one card like it actually represents yeah. itself in some situations as wow, well Wow, that's crazy yeah yeah, I, like yeah. I remember us when we had like cross out, cross out oak. We go, you know, uh, uh, cross out ban is jet normal oak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, was, that, was actually, yeah. that was actually crazy. That was actually crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. That's crazy. Okay, all right, guys. So that's that's a little bit of cross out. Next off, oh my, I hate this card. This card. If you play this card, you're dead. You're a pussy. Children. Children. Children is crazy. Okay, what do you guys think about skill drain, bro? I I, come on, bro. That car gotta go to one, bro. Like, it, it's it's it just has. I mean, I think like I know a lot of you guys are probably seeing like, girl, this list looks so crazy, but it's it is kind of realistic, right? Like, what has Konami done with the previous floodgates in the previous list? They always the in one. the previous FNL list, they put a lot of floods to one. Mm. So I think Train will go to one, like just following the flow of their logic, right? True. And I think they're seeing that Skill Drain is in everyone's list, bro. And okay. I think the issue with Skill Drain is this. If they keep printing more decks and more archetypes that can sack cards from the field, like White Woods, right? Thank guys. Like, um, you're going to see quickly that Drain is just too powerful of a card. Like, it honestly will start probably seeing main deck gameplay. Yeah, I mean, soon. to be honest, like, I mean, it, people I already start doing it. Band, but if we have to be realistic, I'm going to see Konami putting it at one. But I would love for that. Yeah, yeah to me be too. Banned. Me too. I would actually yeah. love for this card to be banned as well. To be honest, like, we can actually make an argument about this card being banned because if you think about it white woods can play cards like goods to foolish the skill and they can add it back what's up i'm telling you the good guys wait what they can do that yeah i i actually invented that nesh thanks for leaking my goo wait uh, what 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 wait wait hold up what what do you do yeah so the white woods deck can um activate cards like foolish bear goods right so they can go foolish bear goods they can send like metaphors fusion or fusion substitute to draw a card okay or if they already have access to their engine they can go foolish bear goods to send skill drain they can make um the synchro eight i forgot the name Diabelle. um of her. Dia, yeah diabelle her name is diabelle and then she can actually add back any spawn trap cards in the graveyard back to the hand what you use her when you make her with the synchro Tuner monster. So White Woods can, can do so that. To make a point for actually skill drain to be banned. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Go ahead, Wood. Okay, oh, oh, sorry. I, 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 I understood that I'm gonna make a point for skill drain to be banned. No, thought, I'm saying, like, yeah. I'm saying, like, like reason, like it's reasonably gonna go to one because we expect Konami to put it at one. Yeah, it's gonna go to one, to be honest. Okay, all right. I mean, like, yes, there's like you can you can do Beatrice Griffin, set it back, like a bunch of other BS. But I, I think I think I think one is fine. I think that's what's realistically gonna happen. It's super sacky though. Your opponent draws it. It's gonna be super cancer. Right, I think so everyone will side it. For one on this side. Yeah, there's a bunch of interactions that searches it, but I think it's one, to be honest. Okay. I also think it's gonna be one, but like. Konami, please. Like, I would be so happy if you guys, like, bound there. Like, hey, that's you know, on his knees right now, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. This card is so L. I hate this card, too. Synchro Zone. What do you guys think about this card? 
We're just showing you guys a bunch of fun games. Three, 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 I think. Three. Yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's, it's it, is, it is really cancer, but like you can out it. Like Phoenix, I mean Phoenix SP. Um, yeah, you can attack, sure, but like I think I think it's fine at three. Um, like the card's only getting popularity because of Runic Stun. Um, but I mean, bro, it's like there's there's less and less piece. floodgates. Like please, yeah, it's all the messenger please. piece. Yeah. yeah, please. Oh yeah, you're right. True. True. Okay, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Robbery of Warlords. One. I think I think all this floods stay at one. Oh, just just, just still stay at one. All the floods. Rivalry goes in. TCB all at one. Okay. I think still? I don't think anyone can hit to them. I think Konami mm -hmm. wants the sack factor. But like no band know, for people. No band. So. What's up? No band. Nah, draw when you get hit. I think it stays at three. Draw. Okay. Draw. Okay. So so stay at three. Draw. Yeah. Draw. Draw hasn't. Draw hasn't been that big of an issue. I think it'll still go to three. Yeah. Okay. How about D shifter? Um, no, it's at three. After after what they announced um, with the cyber shifter, Alice in Wonderland, cyberpunk vibes. Hell no, this crossing at three, bro. It says at three, bro. Wait, I'm why? Calling it at two. Wait, why? Yeah, you can say that too. Bro, like you can say that too if you want to be edgy, but well, this shit's at three, fam. Like they're I not hitting shifter. The cyber shit, like skill, like no. like shifter is good, but like it's whatever. You don't even need shifter in that. Day. No, but they want shifter in the game, fam. Like Konami loves shifter in the game because they want people to play decks like Ten Pi that can play shifter. Like, cause you gotta keep yeah. in mind, right? Like Konami built made this game so that the skillful player does not always win. That's just how they they have to make. Cause if the skillful player always wins, then the casual players wouldn't play the game. Yeah, like, you're just right. Be so, like, you're right. You're so, right. So they want the element. That, that's why all these floods are at one. It's like the fact, like the factor that allows the non skillful player to beat the skillful player. They need those like sack factors. Shifter is one of them. Like it is. Like true. I, and I, I don't hey, think they'll hit it. Bro, I, I, you can make an argument for two, but I think it stays at three. Guys, yo, bro, bro, bro. I went to locals of my shining sarcophagus Yugi deck, and I went four or one defeated because yeah. uh, I drew shifter every game. Shifter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah, Shifter's you're right. Crazy. And I was happy that I won my Yugi deck. So, okay, you're right. I'm not saying to ban or limiting uh, limiting it. I'm saying it too because you eat the consistency of that card, and it actually makes yeah. sense okay. to be semi limited. Okay, all right. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I sure. agree. Sure, two is fine. Okay, how about I would like it to be a two, but I think it's just a three. But yeah, honestly, droplet droplet is banned. No, nah, three, three, three. Whoa. That card is not that good. That card is not that good. All right, at three. Okay, shouldn't touch it. How about Quakey Mero Draco? Okay, what do you guys Yo, think? What did those cards here? But I'm not. I don't know. I'm just putting a bunch. Of, wait, what? Yeah. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just putting random floodgate cards. What I do you can think? tell. I can tell. I can tell. Like you can stay on the last sentence. Random. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Draco still says at three. I think it's like kind of problematic that Seal summons a flood, but okay. I think you can say at three. At three. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I put a spell Barrier. we got to. Barrier? What do you guys think about barrier? Oh my god. You guys bro, if that shit, if they put that shit to one, bro, I'm gonna win a white with Despia, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned no barrier. <laughs> Bear, barrier's a one of. I think it should be a one of, but I might say a three, because they're gonna have to keep some floods at three. Uh, but I think I think it should be a one of. Like I think it's a wish list. Probably not, to be honest. A wish list or, or a one of, Nash? What do you think? Like I think it's a wish. Yeah. Right? That I'm not gonna touch it. Okay. They're not gonna touch it. Yeah. How about but people like a Tito? Come on, what do you guys think about pu puppet? I think I think that I actually bro, it's funny enough. I actually think they'll ban it as a meme. Like I actually think they'll ban it and they won't hit sanctifier. But I, I could be wrong. It's 50-50. No, bro. It's 50 50. What, what, it's the bro dead. No, it's a meme. Look, bro, the, I think I don't think they're gonna hit I think they're gonna hit puppet, but not ban sanctifier. No troll. They literally did that in Master Duel. You and by the way, out of you, out of you, because it's gonna be your fault, right? How's it my fault? It's it, you, you. You literally made the meme. Bro. You literally you sanctify to someone a puppet on your board and your opponent board. You is made that fault? shit. Yeah, yeah. It it's gonna fault? be your fault. It's gonna be your fault. Is it my fault. Is it my fault. I wanted to win, or like I don't. No, know. you didn't need to win with <laughs> two puppets on both on both the boards. But is it my fault? I wanted to give the the stream some content, like. Wait, you Pop, what you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You summon two puppets on each board, right? Yeah, I summon two puppets <laughs> on the board. I was saying they don't teach you that. Like, okay. Come on, Nash. Like, you've been playing this for how long? And you don't even know how to I do know. that, Nash. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what, do you guys, so what do you guys think puppets should be? Band, brother. Band? 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 I think pop I, okay. Okay, and I can actually justify it. Like, so basically, like... Puppet is broken because Grand Grunel can send it. Mm. If 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 there are floodgates that cannot be summoned to your opponent's side of the field that cannot be sent off Grand Grunel, it's not consistent. 
like the, the only one I can think of is like Raw's Disciples or Edo. Like maybe you can send Edo. So you probably have to ban Edo as well because Edo can be sent. Uh, but the thing with Edo is that it loses the Econ and Droplets. Um, so so that's kind of like a, a thing that you have to keep in mind. Uh, but Puppet is like probably the worst thing you can summon to your opponent's board for, for your opponent at least because there's just no interaction. Like the moment it's on the board, like they're just bodied. Oh, right? it's because so, it's, like, it's, it's, it, it's like an it's a lingering. An as a thought. Yeah, it's like an as a thought. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Nash. I mean, in my opinion, Puppet is not the problem. What, yeah, why? Puppet's definitely not the problem. Oh, if oh. you want to do it as a meme, go for it. But like, I disagree. Okay, so Puck, do you, do you think it needs to be banned or no? Or can we talk about another card in, in that, that's on here? Oh, like we can talk about another card later when it comes to it, but I think Puppet will get banned, to be honest. I think Konami always do a couple troll hits. Like they put SP to one, like, come on, bro. Like they always do some troll hits. This is an example of a troll hit. Despite is in tier one. It's not that it's not the best deck. Like they probably want to hit it as a meme. Like it just happens. Like what do you like you know what I'm saying? Every ban list has a meme. True. Like you know what I'm saying? It always has some like some shit cards that you just get hit from the for fun. They put Gazelle back to three. Okay, who cares? Same shit. You know, this is an example of a meme list, you know? Okay. All right, okay. Pot of prosperity. One in Macedo, one in OCG. What do you guys think about prosperity? Nash? Oh my god, please put please. Nash, do you want to do brother? Do you want to start I off? agree with OCG. I agree with Master Duel that card. To be honest, should be banned, but like at one is tacky enough to be acceptable. Park, how about you? Bro, the card says draw six cards. Loses draw six. Pick a pick a card. <laughs> like ban that shit. I mean, <laughs> probably put it to one, but that card is broken. It's so broken. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for all the non engines that we have to talk about today. Let's go on to the next question. As Yu-Gi-Oh has evolved. The extra deck has become a cornerstone for most strategies. What are your thoughts on the powerful staple cards that are likely to be impacted by the upcoming ban list? What changes do you think should be made? Ladies and gents, Pac and Nash. Let's talk about the extra mm -hmm. deck now. Beatrice. I think it's very straight. See you later. Uh, see you later. See you later, Beat Rice. See, see, see you later. later. Really? So really? See you? Yo, sorry, mm -hmm. Farfa. You can't play Beatrice no more. Like for I'm sure. I'm sorry for all the BA players. She died for not you not like not the BA player sins. She died for saying guys sins, bro. I'm sorry. Ashley Feesmith sins. I'm sorry. She gotta go. She's she's bad. Bad. Like, please. Gone. Bro, it's just she's too good, bro. She belongs she's, in the garbage. I think it's the most expected ban it. Like, like bro, that, look at Laval of All Chain. Come? Yeah, Laval Chain is banned. Right? Laval of All Chain was Beatrice back in 2015, fam. We're in 2025. Every <laughs> deck summons Beatrice off one couple cards. Ban it. Like, like, imagine if you can act like Laval of All Chain is Beatrice. Beatrice is a Laval of All Chain that's level six. That's rank six. Like, why is this card not banned? Yeah. You, want, you want to put the ball of chain on one, two? Like, fuck it for the vibes? We are diving into the future, but, 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 but we are in 2024. <laughs> yes, we're 20. Oh, yeah, 2024, 2025. What's the difference? Ban it. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Apollosa, what do you think? Ban. Bro, I would ban this card 100%, but I'm I fair. I think people, will, I, yeah, I should. I, I, <laughs> okay, you are not well, telling me that we are banning Papetito Locketito or whatever it is, and we are not banning Apollosa. Uh, troll it. <laughs> Are I'm you? calling the troll yeah. on Apollosa. What's up? It's, it's for sure. You, you yeah. think it's gonna get banned? I mean, it's due. It's due. This card is due, bro. It's due. Like, it's time is near. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the coffin's already, like, being made. I think at some point, you're gonna have to hit this card. Like, what about my Starlight, bro? Free. What about my Starlight, man? I mean, just take the L, like, every other card yeah, that went down because of all the reprints. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference? Like, <laughs> like hey, guys. I think. Hey guys, hit, bro. guys, you know, I, I made a video called my 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 40,000 Yu-Gi-Oh investment one one year later. Yeah, that that, that 40,000 yeah. is, is now is now two thousand dollars, guys. <laughs> I took a 98% loss. Okay. All right. I took a 98%. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. That's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> All right. So Apple for sure. Like what like what are the reasons it needs to get banned? It's not an Omni Gate, it's just negates monster effects. It loses to it loses yeah, to change it, of heart. It but it's basically it's basically if you think about what Apple's is, it's basically his children. Like I know it's a hot take here, but it's basically oh. a floodgate. Because oh. if your opponent does not have an out to it, they automatically lose on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it, it's the same reason. If your opponent doesn't have an out to skill and they lose on the spot, Apple is one of those cards. If your opponent doesn't have an out to Appalooza, the game is over on the spot. You cannot break Appalooza because the, in the format that we are currently in, Appalooza is able to resolve all of its negates. Yeah. So when, he, when Triff was going yelling, yo, I made 10 negate board on Appalooza's form of mats, by the way, he's actually not joking. It's actually four negates. Yeah, like, you're right. And that's, that's the craziest part about Appalooza. 
Yeah, one card for the, Those were the like the craziest clickbait, clickbaits. Like I love, <laughs> I love them. Uh, yo, but it's yo, true. No, yeah. Jeff was onto something before. He was ahead of his time. He was actually like he was ahead of his time, bro. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah, yeah. You think about it now. Abelosa is a skill drain. And honestly, guys, as an avid Ubel player, you know, like you can no longer summon SP run over Abelosa, right? Yeah, you can't. You know, there's no such because thing. of uh, nightmare pain. Yeah, like nightmare pain, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yo, your Appaloosa just is insane. Yeah, like against you, Bell, like, oh, good luck, bro. You have to attack my monsters. It deals damage to you, and Appaloosa is still sick on the board. I, I entered battle phase and, um, on the feast match against uh, Lucas Sacco when he had Nightmare Pain and Appaloosa. <laughs> Wait, you forgot? Or whatever. No, no, no. I was trying to bait him. I, I didn't forget. I knew he had it, but I was like, I was just hoping he, like, does something. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had rage up, so I was hoping he just rages it. That's uh, why. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So that was up, man. I mean, I know where to win. Might as well try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. Next, we got IP Masquerina. What do you think about IP? I like it. I like the concept <sighs> of the craft. I, I think it should stay because it's more interactive. Like SP as a removal is better than a negate. I think removal type effects are always better than negate negation type effects. So yeah. I like IP. IP is cool. Probably not. I'm saying it's my girl. Probably hey, not. Hold up. Yeah, probably not. Okay, how about, how about SP? Uh, to one, if you're in the OCG. Uh, to three, if you're in like the the the, the real world. Um, so, no, probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Say it's a three. Okay. Uh, how about Moon? Bro, this is... Okay, Ness. I don't what do you think? think? I think this... I don't think they would. I think, I think this card will get banned because it's a common. I think it came as a common for a reason. Is it going to get banned? Like, really I think, think they... I, I think they put Moon on planet earth to troll us for nats they they just wanted to troll like this wouldn't be like like literally they literally said we want to see what kind of strategies you come up with so ha 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 here you go moon's out <laughs> and that's they just made that statement. oh by the way banless at the end of august oh, so you know what you they're really gonna do they're gonna hit their, bro, for sure it's in, out of, it's in it's in 64 64 decks of top cut so wait, even but but it just came you know, out not against it I, I would be down i would be down i bro, don't it's, know if it's, it's a common realistic. bro Think about this, bro. Why did they print a common? Why did they print a common? It's the commons are like you know the hits, bro. Look at look at look at for example, uh, uh, super heavy samurai. Mm -hmm. What they hit? The bro, commons. Then I don't want to talk about it. Like I, I, my ass is still like till today. Yeah, I, I came up with those combos, Nash, and Konami said, Tut. "Gone, GG." <laughs> Yo, you're not trolling my ass right now. I spent one month. <laughs> okay, yes, on the combos. You made a spreadsheet to get n n n nuked in the ban list. All it takes is one click of a button. So guys, banned. even though yo Pac, so you even though how new this card is, you guys think that she'll get banned like right now? I can see, I can see, I I can see it. I, I can, can actually see, see it. I yeah, I can see it because bro, you don't hurt people. Like people will still buy Fiendsmith. They'll throw Fiendsmith in every deck. Like I will not touch Fiendsmith at all. I'm just saying, hit the card that makes Fiendsmith searchable. Hmm. I agree. Like, like Feastmith will still be played. Like, bro, three Feastmith, one Requiem, but like this RA, like keep all that shit. Sequentia, mm. keep it, keep it, bro. But Moon, have you read that card? <laughs> it, it's like when prank kids were around, you could literally print out a vanilla Link One Mail Mew. It could have no effect, and it's still broken. It's like that's what Moon is. It's a vanilla. It's a Link to vanilla. That's what it is. <laughs> I hope you know we're summoning vanillas in 2025, <laughs> 2024. Sorry. I'm, I'm keeping on losing track of time. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I mean, it's a vanilla. If we, if we follow on the logic of Super Heavy Samurai, that shit can actually happen. Yes, it can actually happen. I think they will hit it. It's really a common for a reason, fam. Like, like they're smart. They could have made that shit a secret, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That card is a secret? $100. Yeah. I, Every I, deck needs it. 100 bucks. You're right. You're right. But they made it a common, so that, that, that what, it's going to be What a, did they make secret? Requiem, you see that? Oh. Fiend Smith Arch. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, bro. You work for Konami? You know what I'm saying? You work for Konami? Is there anything yeah. you want to tell us, bro? Is there anything you want to tell us, Paco? Oh, I'm just sure? telling you, bro. Look, look, all, all I'm saying is I got I got, I got, got sources I can't say. I work in places <laughs> I can't name. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> okay, guys, next card Caesar. What do you guys think about Caesar? Say, say. I don't care. Yeah, I don't okay. care. Yeah. No, no, okay. All right. Whatever. A uh, fan of Ubel. Yo, this card's insane. Though. I tested too, the deck too soon. Too soon. Too soon. I tested the deck a Three. lot. I think that there is a possible, there is a world in which we could semi-limit the card. Then you say because it makes sense to semi-limit it. 
Bro, I'm in the next Are you, tro are you trolling? trolling? No, no, Every I'm deck not plays trolling. two, bro. The deck actually needs three. No, no, it doesn't, bro. It doesn't it need does. three. Nash, people, people play two right now. Yeah, Nash, I know. Nash, they, are you... And it's wrong. You should play three. Well, I will. Yes, I play three. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. Uh, I play three, but everybody plays it two. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because if they see everyone playing two, why would they somehow limit it to two? Yeah, Nash, are you crazy? Bro, they're not going to touch it, fam. It's too new, bro. It's a QCR. God damn, Nash. It's too new. Yeah, Nash, it's too new, man. For now, shouldn't hit it for now, but in the future, you might see a limit on this card, guys. Just, uh, just, 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 uh -huh. just be on the lookout. All right. <clears throat> okay. Next, we got Albion. What do you think about Albion? Okay, bro. Honestly, um, no, no, no. Tranquilo, 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 Nash. All right, bro. This guy right. wants to play Branda during the next. Don't let him do it. Stop this man. I mean, stop this man, bro. Stop this man. Gonna I'm stop telling me? to you all. Who gonna stop me? Because this card's not gonna hit. Yeah, Nesh is, okay. Nesh is, you Nesh is jealous, you know? your channel to gaslight Konami into not I'm making not Konami. anti fair band? They're not hitting it. It just doesn't make sense to hit this card. It doesn't make sense to hit this card, fam. Why? Bro, there's bro, there's like 20 pistols in the format, bro. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it, like this card doesn't... Bro, this card should not get hit. I'm telling you right now, because if you hit Gimme Puppet, what is Grangunal sending? Nothing. There's nothing to send. No, yeah, come bro, on, if come you on. Go, that is, if, this is there is the other no, one. No, this app was a Raw's level four. You cannot set it. Ido, Ido, there is Ido. Ido, Ido. Ido. Ido is basically puppet. It's getting banned at the same time. Like it, I put that shit in the ban list. Supreme magical force. Ido, the supreme magical force. Uh, Ido, okay, all right, so, I'll put that on the ban section. Okay. So it's they're not gonna hit it because, bro, like I'm telling you, the why reason, are we banning two cards instead of one? Because <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, yeah Pac, you're right. Nesh, you're right. Why don't we just hit the deck? Yeah, why? Yeah, why are we banning two cards out of one? Uh, you, you, you know what? I'm about, to, I'm about to enter the next YCS without Sanctifier or Puppet. Yo, shout out to Triff, bro. We, I actually don't even need these cards. You know what? Ban it. You just ban it. I don't even need it. I'm, a, I'm bro, actually I, for I fun. Don't, no, I don't. No, I don't understand. Like, I genuinely don't understand. Like, we were always a fan of eating the problem, right? And not the card around, mm -hmm. brother. Like, you, like you are literally saying ban all the tunnels in the game, but not touch anti Alki Fiber. Right? Like, that's literally <laughs> what you're saying. Right now. That's literally what you're bro. saying right now. Oh, that's you're doing facts with Holy shit! All, all, I'm, all I'm saying is, brand fusion response. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, that's your response. Yo, Nesh, I have a question. Nesh, you no, play... No, I, I, I only use Ash on Ice Spirits. Yo, Nesh, Nesh, I have a question. How come you're not better than Pac with Brandon? You played the deck for like four years. Okay, who said that? <laughs> yeah. Who said that? Who said I'm not better than Pac? No, Nesh. Who said yeah. that? Nesh, oh, bro, uh, bro, we can play Mirror all night. Yo, yeah, gentleman's agreement, no, no puppet or what? No puppet, no puppet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah I, I, I said the second copy in my main deck. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Sorry, bro, my bad. Okay, so back, just full man, back to my main. All right, guys, yeah, full back in my main deck. Okay, all right, guys. Next card, uh, calamities, right here. What do you, what do you think? Ah, uh, band. Uh, for sure. It's not sure though. I think this 50-50 uh, is either bad or not bad. I think probably not. No. But I think I don't know. I don't know. Like I saw it keep I saw it got hit on the OCG and in uh Master Duel. Yeah. So I would say it hits as well. Uh but I see the 50, they might not hit it. I mean, bro, I, I don't remember the last time I got Calamity Lock, to be honest. Like maybe like gray format, like or I don't know. Like <laughs> I think I that like where a time in which it should have been banned. But and it gets, yeah. didn't get banned. Like oh, yeah. at this point, yeah. I don't know why they should they should attach it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. would yeah, I like I would like I would love to see this card banned because again I hate those lingering effects that makes no sense in my opinion. I'm a huge hater of lingering effects, so everything mm. that's lingering should not be legal. Almost everything. I would say 90% of the cards that are lingering should not be legal. Mm. And I stated mm. my like my sentiment multiple times about those kind of effects. And Calamity is one of them that, in my opinion, should be banned. But realistically speaking, if they didn't eat it when it was needed to be eaten, why they should eat it yep. now? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's just long overdue. There's no point. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, let's put it there. All right, guys. So this concludes for the extra deck segment for today's video. Let's move on to the last and final question that I want to ask for you guys. So with the release of the new Fiendsmith cards, they've quickly proven to be one of the strongest engines in Yu-Gi-Oh. How should we address this deck? Do you think it's too early to consider these hits or should it be checked on this upcoming ban list? Pac? Fees missed to stay, you know, like I said, I, I like it as an engine supplement and uh, I think it's interesting to have it, especially if Beatrice Speed Rice gets banned. Um, 
This card's really cool. Offers some really nice recursion. Some grind games, I think, can be had with this card in the format. Um, yeah, I, th I think this card should stay. Um, I think that you're not going to really hit it yet. And by the way, um, I just think that, like, it's just too new. Like, it's way too new. Yeah, I want to yeah. see what people do with it. True. And then, okay. so right now yeah. we are talking about the Finchmith engine in total, right? Yes. Like, well, Finchmith yes. in general okay. or, or Finchmith as a deck. Okay. I don't think they are going to touch Finchmith. And uh, I share the same sentiment as Puck, but I would love to throw up, like, a, I would love to throw a question to you guys. Yes. Right? Yes. So I think the problem, like, Finchmith has no problem at all, in my opinion, but there is maybe a slight problem regarding to time, which is created by Lacrimosa. Do mm. you guys can possibly think, think that Lacrimosa is going to be eaten? Because of that, that issue. Honestly, maybe in the no, future. They, they never adjust the time rules, right? They, I don't think, I really? feel like they never do, like, a, adjust the time rules. They could have been kind of when, like, time rules first changed. They did mm. it. Mm. Right. Mm. No, 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 that no, makes sense. no, no, but bro, but, but the argument is that like Kaina is not, it's not Lacrimosa, you know, like yeah, Kaina, I mean, is, Kaina, yeah. Kaina is only played in striker, you know what I'm saying? So I understand yeah, where yeah, Nesh yeah. is coming from, where it's like, for example, um, why aren't they going to ban Dogwood? Dogwood's probably going to get banned because it has to be either main deck or side deck. It needs to be a choice, right? Whereas the Fiendsmith cards, if everybody's playing Fiendsmith, that means everybody has access to Lacrimosa in the extra deck. It's just part of their deck. Yeah. So I understand where Nesh is going with this yeah. because it's like, okay, the, the argument with Kaina is okay, sure, play Kaina and Sky Strikers. Your Sky Striker deck is shitter than my than my Fiendsmith deck. Or it's more shit than all the other decks that can play Fiendsmith in the deck. So sure, yeah. no problem. Have Kaina. No worries. But Lacrimosa, right now, I believe that the obviously Fiendsmith as an engine is a bit too new. And then, you know with the release of what? There's there's a level four Fiendsmith coming out, right? Yeah. In Rage of the Abyss. Yeah, like, so they're making new water cards, new Rage of the Abyss cards. All these new cards are just coming out. So it doesn't make sense to hit the, the Fiendsmith engine as a whole right now. Yeah. I can definitely see it get yeah. hit in the future, Nesh. So that's a really great question. I, I, I think if they don't adjust the time rules and Konami sees that, oh, so many people are just winning with, in time with Lacrimosa, now then maybe they should address it. But right now, I, I think the card is, is fine. Because, for example, you have the same Lacrimosa in your extra deck. I have the same Lacrimosa, uh, Lacrimosa in my extra deck, right? So everybody has the same level playing field. You know what I'm saying? You know, so like yeah, if, you yeah. wanna, if you want to compete on, on the top level, you have to play Fiendsmith in your deck. And when you have Fiendsmith in your deck, you do have access to that time type card, yeah. which is Lacrimosa. Right now, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it's going to get hit. No. I yet. agree. It's not going to get hit, but it's just food for thoughts. You yeah, me? yeah. I, honestly, like, I do like you guys' reasoning with Moon, though. Like, Moon is actually, like, for example, like, I want everyone to be able to have access to Fiendsmith, but by playing straight Fiendsmith. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have Fiendsmith... Yeah, but, it, natural card. Yeah, but yeah. play, like, if, for example, like, if your deck actually rolls around Fiendsmith cards and you can actually benefit from the engine, great, you know? But not every deck should be like, you know what, just for the vibes, let me, let me make Moon. I know we're toward getting towards the end of the year, but I actually have some goo. Sam, what? you ready for the Ubel? If they if they ban Moon, there's actually some crazy goo you could do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to know what the goo is? What's the goo? Well, you play, you play Patchwork. And you get imp and poly, and you can poly into uh, uh, the Magnum. new TCG exclusive. Aerial eater, Magnum. and then that card, Magnum. aerial eater, and, and, and an aerial eater can send uh, the Fiendsmith. You know what I'm saying? Oh god dang, god damn! You know I'm saying. Hold up, yo. Honestly, with Moon being banned too, you're actually forced to play more Fiendsmith cards if you want to play Fiendsmith yes. in your deck. So like, for and example, you gotta like get creative too. You yeah, gotta get creative. Like yeah. like like right now, guys, in my Ubel deck, I'm playing Sang. I'm playing three Sang. Like Fiendsmith yeah. saying, summon the token, okay, make make like one. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's more creative than just going yep. to moon. You know? So like it just cre yeah. creates more creative deck building instead of just throwing moon in every single deck. So honestly, yeah. I, I do like your guys' take on, on moon being banned immediately, even though of how new the card is, you know? And Pox Reason yeah. is right too with a common print. Like they just wanted to troll us for that. And then I wouldn't be surprised if like, okay, this is bad. You know, like we've seen it coming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can see that. One event format. All right, guys, yeah. let's move on to the last and final question. Okay, I have one more question for you guys. So this is what sure. we have here as all the stuff that came to my mind when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! resetting and what needs to be hit for Yu-Gi-Oh! to stay healthy again. So these are the main cards you talk about, but I'm pretty sure there are hundreds of cards that I'm missing here. So what I want you guys to do is leave in a comment what you guys think should be addressed as well. You know, let us know in the comments yep. below. And this is the question that I have for you guys, Pak and Nesh. So looking ahead, what changes do you think are necessary to keep Yu-Gi-Oh! balance? Aside from these cards right here. How would you approach mm -hmm. resetting the game to maintain a healthier and more enjoyable state? 
You know, what other cards do you think that is missing on this ban list need to be addressed? What are your thoughts? So I'm gonna start with Pac. What do you think? I think um, this could be a discussion for another video, but so let me know if you guys would want to hear it. But I think the time rules um, are just, uh, I think Yu-Gi-Oh is getting more and more complex. Mm. Uh, I think we can all agree that power creep is happening on a daily basis as new sets gets announced. The cards are getting crazier, right? Yeah. And it makes sense, right? Yu-Gi-Oh since like history, um, has been like everything has been every new set every year there's been power creep so it's continuous power creep yeah i think at some point we're gonna reach an equilibrium where like there is like the decks are so broken right but the thing is there's so much steps you have to take to assemble your board why was dogwood not played in cash format because the cash combo took like literally three steps right Special Unicorn, get Theosis, Theosis my friend, you're afraid to get Baby Rise, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy. Simple. It was simple. It's quick. It's simple. Yeah. But now with Snake Eyes combos, bro, you got like, bro, there's a lot of decisions you got to make for, for such a brainless deck, as you would call it. Like, mm. it, like there's a lot of steps you got to take. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, do I sack now to summon Flammers or summon Oak? Or like, do I have to wait after I make Moon? Should I make like this step? Should I make IP and Zelene to Apollo first, right? You can see that there's a lot of decision making that happens, but mm. for the but for the um for the average guy playing, that shit takes time to figure it out. Mm. So 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 I think Yugo's getting more and more complex. The average guy cannot keep up with how difficult the game is getting. As a result, they're taking more time during the actual game itself, uh, which leads to like a lot of time win conditions in game threes, which I think kind of defeats the purpose. Like, mm. bro, like this shit is not Lorcana, it's not a best of two, fam. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna I actually play the game threes um so i think that like i um i think like one of the ways we can maybe maintain a healthier uh Yu -Gi -Oh balance like i said maybe discussion for another video uh, is to like maybe maybe we should look at the time rules see how if we can make any sort of changes to make it a little bit better um for the player base um but yeah that, that's just my thoughts i think okay. like cards are just only going to get stronger right yeah. like look at the balance we made Look how many cards we have to hit. Yeah, exactly. How many cards we have to limit. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're like, right. You're right. It's getting crazy. So Pac yeah. thinks that, you know, to keep it healthier, your game state, and when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! resetting, we need to revisit the time rules again. So that would be another topic for another yep. video for another Tech Talk. Nesh, yep. anything that you want to input? And I'm sorry for interrupting you earlier on in the video. So, okay, now we can talk about, talk about DDG, Nesh. What, like, what do we call DDG? Different Dimension Ground. Nesh, what do you think you just put Different Dimension Ground? I'm sorry I cut you oh. off. Nesh. Uh, just, um, anyways, um, yeah, again, lingering effect. Mm. Uh, I'll say it one more time, should not exist. DDG, dimensional barrier, those, those cards, even though they are probably go not gonna address those, they need to be addressed in the future because yeah. they are not problematic. Like they are problematic already right now, but it's gonna be my, my opinion even worse in the future. Yeah, because for example, uh, like, uh, sorry, Nesh, yeah, honestly, to back up your reasoning there is like, if all these floodgates are getting hit, right? What's the difference? If all these floodgates are, are, are being hit. What's next in line? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be mm -hmm. lingering effects, right? Like D barriers and D different dimension grounds. So I do agree with you, Nesh. Yeah. I do agree. So it needs to go to one, right? Different dimension ground? I would ban it. Like, okay. Because those cards, like, usually are used as a one-off copy. True. Uh, and, like, you set those with the trust when you go first. So it's even ban or limiting to one doesn't make any sense. Okay. Like, they shouldn't be banned. Yeah. So different dimension ground. Worse than dimension barrier, Nesh? I think they are both very bad okay. for the health of the game. Okay. Right? Because they do different things and they eat total different decks. If you play both, you eat all the decks, basically. Different dimension ground in the band 100% needs to go section. Nash, anything else you want to touch on for the last final question? What you think the game should should do to keep it in a healthier state? And when it comes to resetting Yu-Gi-Oh! What are your thoughts? I think, I think having a general thought about how combo decks are supposed to be like they should actually like the um i don't know who's working behind those things but like whoever is working on it like create archetypes and like like see the resiliency of those archetypes against the end traps and how can they interact with them um and like another thing is the time rules i think they actually should change i totally share the same feeling with the pack about the time rules because yep. uh, I think the skill, like even though not always the skilled player should win, because you want uh, obviously uh, like people that even if they are not super knowledgeable of, of the game, still winning games. Mm. But like most of the time, the one that puts more effort should be rewarded with a win. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. These are all the things that we want to talk about when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Needs a reset. This is a huge balance that needs to happen. And I cannot wait for Konami to announce the ban list in August to see on what we'll get. 
uh, uh, for the end of the month. So, guys, I'm so excited to, for what's to come in Yu-Gi-Oh. Very excited for the game. Are you guys excited, Pac and Nesh? What do you guys think? Bro, I'm excited for the list, bro. It's about to be insane. Yeah. I think. Bro, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the new Mulchami. You feel me? Yeah, you can't wait, right? Like, uh, like yeah. I want to play that. I want to play that card so bad. Yeah, you and love it, eh? complain about it. You love it, eh? No, I just want to play it and then complain about it. I, uh, I want to cry about it. Do you, like, like, you want to hug it or something? If it comes out? Uh, yo, <sighs> oh my God. Why are you being so weird to me? I was asking if you want to hug it. If it's, like, if it's a real person, would you hug the card or no? I don't think it's huggable. <laughs> I think it's water. <laughs> Guys, you already know. Video sponsored by Supreme Pro Pack Ten. You guys already have to. Uh, if you guys are not already on there, go check out you know takes1.com and, and use Pack Ten for all of your TC accessory needs. Best sleeves in the game. You guys all right, here. guys. The sleeves are currently all sold out. I know you guys have been pressing me. I get the emails. Mm -hmm. You know, we 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 have a supply uh, we have a supply issue. Okay, there'll be more coming. I yeah. promise you. Pink is my favorite color. So if you want to buy the sleeves, also buy the pink one because the pink ones are my favorite ones. And if you guys like these, like the final thoughts about the game and you want to see it during the next video, uh, remember to comment down below and let us know your thoughts about what should or, or not should be improved. Yeah, guys, exactly. And honestly, we love making these videos. We love making like, you guys don't want Team Samurai. We like to have a different videos every single time for you guys to get involved in. So leave a comment in the comments below because we read all the comments, you know what I'm saying? So like, like I, I count at least like 10 people saying that my Italian accent is fake. Yeah, Bro, oh my God, guys, the most guys, Italian person you will guys, meet you guys, you guys finally figured out his accent is fake. He's actually American. <laughs> his accent is actually fake. You guys knew it. It's, he, he's putting on an act, guys. He's putting on an act. He's capping, bro. He's capping. All right, guys. Catch you guys on the next episode of Tech Talk. Peace.